All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. I want to do our daily Bitcoin and Bitcoin miner update. Bitcoin had a really good day. The Bitcoin miners had a strange day, so I want to talk about it. We talk about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. So if that's content you're interested in, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if everybody could please smash the like button and feel free to leave a comment below. I do read all the comments. So in the US, the S&P 500 was up over 1%. The Dow was up about 0.5%. 0.7%. The Nasdaq was up like 1.27%, and the Russell was up 1.23%. So a very positive day for the equity markets in the US. Bitcoin also had a very nice day, and by and large, the Bitcoin miners were green today, but I'm gonna show you why I believe that they underperformed. I think that there's a nice setup coming. However, I do think there's a potential little trap ahead of it, so I wanna show you guys what I'm talking about, and I'll let you know how I'm gonna be playing the market over the coming days and weeks. Okay, so let's start off by taking a look at the Bitcoin miner big board. So you're gonna see it is mostly green. They were not up nearly as much as I expected, and I do think this represents the miners lagging. I'm gonna get into later why I think that is. So you can see Bitfarms was up one penny today. That's 0.7%. It opened the day up three or 4% and then immediately went down to almost break even for the rest of the day. Hut was up 2%, Hive was up 0.2%, CleanSpark 1.6%. So Bit Digital was down 1.89%, Gree was down 2.47%, and Wolf was down 2.36%. So those were your three outliers. Those were red on a green day. Couldn't find anything specific on those, just that's the way it seems to work out. So it was a very mixed bag, but mostly just a slight move to the upside. The board was a little bit green. So I want to go to the Bitcoin chart and show you why I feel like this was really really under performance. This is where Bitcoin was when the equity markets closed on Friday, and it was at around $21,300. So technically the move from there to the close today should have been what represented the move in the Bitcoin miners. So that's a 5.3% increase. That means that Bitcoin outperformed almost every single one of the Bitcoin miners. So looking at Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, you'll see we had this descending line of resistance. We broke out of that on Thursday and had a massive move to the upside. So right now, if we were to measure from September 6th, which was the local bottom, until where we are today, which is just less than one week later, this has already been a 21% rally. Okay, so you can see when we bottomed out somewhere here on September 6th, the RSI was in oversold territory. This is on the four hour time frame. So by Friday, we were in overbought territory. We got as high as 78 on Friday. We've been pretty much staying there for the last three days. So we've actually found some support at 70. Ordinarily, once you get into overbought territory, at some point sooner than later, you pull back and have a little bit of a reset, even if that's a little bit of sideways activity. But we stayed here in overbought territory now for three full days. So I think what's happening here is with the equities, the equity traders are anticipating that the next move in Bitcoin is going to be a little bit of a pullback, some sideways activity or a pullback, because this is a massive amount of time to spend in overbought territory. Now, I'm gonna talk about a little bit larger time frame than that. I do think over the next week or two weeks or a month, I think this relief rally is gonna continue and I think it's gonna be quite strong. I just think there's one little trap ahead where this RSI has to reset itself because we're already overdue for a reset on the RSI. This is three days overbought. I've seen this get up to 85 or 90. So it's possible that we do that, you know, before we start to come down and retest. So we could have one more push to the upside, but at some point, in my opinion, sooner than later, I think in the next 24 hours, I think we're gonna have a little bit of a reset to the downside and that may take one or two days for the RSI to reset on the four hour time frame. And it does not have to get all the way back to oversold, but I do think it has to get somewhere in the 50s or 60s, even if we're in a huge rally here. So the longer we are up here in overbought territory, the more potential is that this move to the downside is a little bit more violent. So if I look at the MACD on the four hour time frame, you'll see it looked like back on September 8th, we had a bullish crossover, it looked like we had peaked the histogram was way up into the dark green and then we pulled all the way back down and you'll see for one candle one four hour candle we did actually have a bearish crossover and we had a red candle 
but it immediately flipped back green. So that was a bit of a fake out, which brings me to the bigger picture. I think in the bigger picture, I do believe we've set a new trend and we are in another relief rally. So despite the fact that we've had a little bit of extra run up, so I think we're due for a little bit of a pullback in general, I think the next couple of thousand dollars is up from here. This is the two month rally that we had. So this goes back to June 18th. And you can see for those two months, we traded inside of this trading range and we did get as high as $25,000 and that was from about a low of $17,500 and then you can see we peaked on August 15th and from there we really broke to the downside so three or four days ago I did bring up and I really never talk about this but it was such a blatant bullish divergence that I had to bring it up on the four hour time frame you can see this was building up for weeks we were having lower lows on Bitcoin and we were having higher lows on the four hour RSI so this played out exactly like we expected at the end of this bullish divergence we're now up 21 percent you can see at this point we have now set a higher high i do believe this on september 6 was a local bottom and the beginning of another relief rally so i've drawn a few different lines here you'll see this line of support held for a little bit longer and broke on august 26th and then we broke to the downside and we've now jumped back above this line of support but this, I think, is just a short-term line of support. I'm looking for us to move back into this trading channel right here that we were in. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to look at the one-day time frame. And this is six green candles in a row. This is a very long, extended run to the upside. So that's the reason why I do think we are due for a little bit of a pullback, maybe to test one of these lines of support. You can see we've gone straight through several different lines that should have potentially presented some amount of resistance, but we really got no resistance at all. We bottomed out at about 18,600, which brought us back to this June 30th low. So I would not be surprised to see us pull all the way back to this pink line, just under $20,000. That represented the previous high from the previous bull cycle back in 2017. So that would be a pretty big drop off, but and that's the most that I would be expecting. I think more likely maybe we go back and test this line at 20,700. We may not even pull back that far based on how much we've run up, but I am expecting some pullback at some point here. And I'm more gonna be looking at the four hour RSI to see when it has reset versus how far down Bitcoin has to go in the process. And again, sometimes Bitcoin may end up going sideways for a while while the RSI resets. However, with this gigantic run up and all these green candles in a row, I am expecting a red candle sooner than later. But from there, I wanna give you two price targets for what I think is gonna be a nice relief rally from here. So the first one is the same price target that I had for the last relief rally. We did not quite get there last time. That price target is about $25,300. I do think we're gonna take a run back Back up to that and that may end up being a double top or we may push through that my next price target from there would be this line at 28,800 so this was an extremely extremely strong line of support I think there's a chance if we can continue this strong relief rally if the CPI data comes in as expected and there's no other curveballs between now and then then I think we have a nice chance to run up quite a bit to at least 25,000 maybe 28,800 so those are aggressive price targets to the upside but I think we're in the middle of a relief rally again be careful of the trap I do think we're gonna have a little bit of a pullback very soon and again nothing goes up in a straight line so you can see on this last relief rally we had a lot of ups and downs and these were 20 percent moves at a time so in total this was a 43 percent relief rally that actually equaled the relief rally that we had back in March of 2022 so if we had another 43 3% relief rally that would get us to about 26,000 500 so that would go a little bit past my initial price target of 25,000 so okay this is the RSI on the one day time frame and you're going to see I have a line here that dates all the way back to March of 2022 so that's the majority of this year and in this entire time it was only these two weeks where we had this significant rally in March where Bitcoin got up to 48,000 that the daily RSI got above this level here at around 61. So you can see even during the last relief rally we had that lasted two months, we bumped up against this line three times and we could not get past 61 on the daily RSI. We then had to go all the way back down and reset the RSI to oversold territory. But you can see 
we did actually this time really pretty much go up in a straight line from oversold all the way back up to 61 where we're sitting right now. So this is where I think if we can break through this line right here, I think we have a very good chance of getting up to that 28.8 target. If we continue to bounce around and retest this line, that's where I think we'll probably get up to our $25,000. And then obviously if for some reason this turns around and starts to go below 50 back into the 40s, then you know, that would be a premature end to what I think is going to be a nice relief rally. So the next move here is crucial and, and it may take two, three, four days, but at some point I would expect to test this line and possibly get through this line. So that's all I've got for you today on Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.